Thanks again for joining us on Customer Tech Talks. I'm your host, Ben Walters, and this time I'm joined by Sagar Shah, who's been leading the security transformation for LinkedIn. Let's take a look at the video. LinkedIn is a Microsoft company and is the largest online professional network. And naturally, the infrastructure that supports the platform is really complicated. I work on the SEEK team within the information security organization at LinkedIn. Our team is tasked to detect threats and respond to threats from the online world. We don't run a traditional security operations center. We have a really lean team, and that brings up a lot of challenges. We apply an engineering lens to solving all of our problems. Azure Sentinel is our security information and event management system, and that allows us to capture data from different data sources and provides the visibility that we require to detect threats to LinkedIn, its employees, members, customers, and infrastructure. Sagar Shah is the Seek Team Staff Information Security Engineer for LinkedIn. Sagar, great to have you with us. It's great to be here, Ben. Now, we all know who LinkedIn is and is the largest online professional network. I have no doubt trust and security is top of the list for not just you, but also your users. Can you share with us, I'll share with everyone, who the Seek team is and your approach to security? Absolutely. So the Seek team is the threat detection and threat response team at LinkedIn. Uh, we, uh, since trust is uh, LinkedIn's uh, one of the highest priorities at LinkedIn, uh, the Seek team uh, strives to protect the customers, the members, uh, the data at LinkedIn. And um, uh, the approach to security is a little bit different. Uh, we run a very lean team uh, and uh, we use an engineering lens to solve a lot of our security challenges. Uh, we don't run a traditional SOC, uh, but we use a lot of uh, automation uh, and uh, we, we have the systems work for us to, uh, you know, scale uh, to LinkedIn scale. Right, and I can only imagine the complexity you have to deal with in an environment like LinkedIn. Can you share with everyone a little bit about why Azure Sentinel was chosen and how that helps you run that team so lean? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so Azure Sentinel, uh, this, this started almost uh, two years back uh, when LinkedIn was looking at Azure as one of its, uh, uh, for its future workloads. And um, at the same time, we started looking at our own infrastructure within the detection and response team and realized that we needed to make some changes uh, or make, make some investments rather. Uh, when we started looking at what exactly we wanted uh, to scale to LinkedIn's growth over the next few years, uh, we realized uh, we came up with like a few high level goals. Um, and those goals were more like, how do we get like, comprehensive visibility across LinkedIn? How do we uh, you know, get comprehensive detection coverage uh, at LinkedIn? How do we make incident response more scalable that scales to the business and the projected growth over the next few years? And uh, that, that translated into a lot of other uh, requirements like you know, how do we get the time to value, really quick time to value? Um, how do we you know, uh, unify everything into a single platform uh, so that instant response is scalable. Um, and Azure Sentinel was starting the journey at the same time. Um, we, we talked to the team, we looked at the product, the roadmap, and we found that uh, you know it was a great match uh, for us to go on that journey together. Right, and as I understand it, when we spoke earlier, you mentioned that your approach to security kind of shifted. You moved away from this idea of just responding to incident on incident and really started to look at behaviors and patterns that were happening. Can you share a little bit about that and some of the lessons you've learned in that approach? Absolutely. So uh, when you look at uh, a, a traditional SOC, there's a lot of like responding to alerts and things like that. Um, it, as I mentioned, our approach to security is a little different. Uh, we we look for adversary activity uh, or, or clusters of activity uh, within our network. Um, we also respond to alerts every now and then, or uh, but but our focus is on finding adversaries uh, in our network. And uh, what what that translates into is you know uh, aggregating uh, all of the signals that we see and uh, charting them into into a graph and, and and show that you know this is 
this is what is happening across your network instead of like a single alert that says, you know, uh, something is, uh, this one thing is wrong. Uh, so that situational awareness for our incident response team uh, at, is, is uh, super important, which uh, Ajahn now helps with. Really interesting, and not just the response time frame, but you're also working really, really closely with that team to ensure that those incidents can be learned from and you can develop new automations for those in the future as well. How are you approaching that process? Sure. So uh, the incident response team and uh, we have a detection engineering team in-house. Uh, we have a very tight integration between these two uh, teams. We have a very tight feedback loop. Uh, we built a lot of infrastructure around uh, making sure that the detections that are shipped uh, to the incident response team uh, have a very high efficacy. Uh, and, and when there are problems, it can be fixed uh, pretty quickly. Um, all this is in service to the goal of making incident response scalable um, and detecting more threats and responding to them more quickly. Gotcha. And that sounds amazing that really that integration has helped you kind of get that scale and get that response down to a, a really acceptable time frame. Sagar, thank you so much again for joining us. It's been great to hear about LinkedIn and also your security journey. And of course, if you're looking for more information on Azure Sentinel, you can find all the resources on aka.ms Learn and Ignite. And of course, if you'd like to join us on future episodes of Customer Tech Talks, we'd love to hear your story. And you can head over to aka.ms Customer Tech Talks to share more information. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you next time.